Are you tired of eating sweet potatoes as fries? I am. So let me show you an easy, fun, and quick way of making sweet potato that is not fries. So let me tell you this. If I can make it, you can too. Hey, hey, before we begin, can you tell me why shouldn't you be mad at a yam? Because it's a sweet potato. For this recipe, you'll need two medium-sized sweet potato, one medium-sized onion, one cup coriander, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, one third cup of cornmeal, one third cup of all-purpose flour, one or two eggs, and vegetable oil for pan frying. Peel the skin off the sweet potato and grate it. Don't be distracted while grating because the pain will bring you back straight to reality. I keep these teeny weeny bits to cut after. Chop that onion and see how dramatic we can get. In your grated sweet potato, add in the all-purpose flour, and the cornmeal. Then add in the onion and the coriander or cilantro. Then add in your salt and pepper. I put in two eggs so that the batter can hold itself together. Oh no! Remember, you want to put in your dry ingredients first to the batter and then you add in the eggs. You don't want to mix it too much as your batter will get too liquidy. And if it does get too liquidy, add in all-purpose flour one tablespoon at a time. Squeeze them together like a fritter-like shape or a spider-like shape. Get your pan ready, make sure it's hot. Put in the oil for pan frying and make sure it's hot as well. That black thing there is not dirt, I just burnt it long time ago. Make sure you pan fry the sweet potato at medium heat. Flip it around at a 5 minute mark. Fry it for 8 to 10 minutes. And voila, your sweet potato fritter is ready. For the sauce, I use sriracha and mayo, or you can use ketchup. Before we go, do you know the difference between sweet potato and yams? Let's find out! Sweet potatoes are reddish brown in color and the flesh is orange, white or purple. Flavor is sweet and its origin is South and Central US. And as for the yam, the skin is rough and brown in color, the taste is starchy and the origin is from Africa. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate the love, the kindness and the feedback that I get. I am so new to this uh, YouTube journey and I'm so new to cooking. But the love that I get from you guys keep me going. Please do keep loving and let this love grow. Do share this journey of mine with your family and friends and subscribe. Thank you.